Okay, I've never done this before, but y'all may have. But we were eating strawberries, and Deborah said, need some chocolate. <laughs> so she brought chocolate, and I said, oh, we have some whipped cream. So whipped cream, strawberries, and chocolate. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so good. Yeah. We had a whole tray. It's all gone. Uh -oh. oh, we didn't? Yeah, we did, basically. Well, we wouldn't tell everybody. <laughs> well, that's an afternoon snack. We hadn't had fruit in a long time. <laughs> we, we do have some peaches in there somebody gave us, so we're going to do peaches and cream next. And she said she only had two chocolates. Two. Yeah, right. How many did I have? Evidently, a dozen. <laughs> Only had one. That's not true. Is that really true? Yes, I had one that dove. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. <laughs> well, we can't. We can't buy this stuff anymore because that's going to be too addicting. So why in the world did I buy whipping cream? Because we're not going to buy it all the time. Because <laughs> that stuff is rich. So let me show you why I bought whipping cream. So this is a butter churner. And Deborah bought this for me, I don't know, six months ago or something. Um, I don't remember what I said, but this is me homesteading on the road. And I've already started, oh, you can't see down in there, but it's getting thick. I can't turn it with one hand, I mean, without holding it. But yeah, see, it's getting, it's getting harder. So it says it's going to take about eight to 10 minutes. I'm about four or five minutes in. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to turn this until I have butter. It's going to make butter and is it a byproduct buttermilk so with the buttermilk we'll make some pancakes or something it's getting there i think we have like five minutes left just take the tag off so i'm not hitting it i need to go get the instructions because i forgot what happens I know I make butter and buttermilk, but I forget what happens when it gets too hard. Is that when I quit? It blows up. <laughs> What's up, Ma? It's getting... Then you have to wash the butter. I guess to get the... I don't know. I'm not even going to say it. But you got to wash and then I guess form it. Or just put it in a tub. That's what I'm going to do. We could have had this on our mashed potatoes tonight. There, it's getting chunky. Interesting. All right, I think we're there. It got hard and then hard to turn. And look, there's the butter. Look at that. I just made butter. And there's the buttermilk. So now I'm going to go get the instructions because you're supposed to wash the butter and I'm really not sure how to do that. But I've got to separate these. Isn't that cool? So it has separated so I'm to remove the lid and pour the buttermilk into a drinking glass. Look, there's butter. Very interesting. Ugh, there's a fly around me. They like milk too. It likes buttermilk because it's sour. So, oh, I need a screener or something. Buttermilk? I guess it could be this. and drop the jar. Okay. Cornbread or pancakes? 
Actually, I can make bis biscuits too. Look at that. Butter. Now I have to wash it. The butter or the jar? The butter. To get the buttermilk off of it. Let's see what it says. Rinsing your butter. The buttermilk is similar to skim milk. Do not throw it away. You can use it for lots of things, including scones. That's in this recipe, in this book for recipe. Pour the butter into a mixing bowl and pour cold water over the top. You can add ice to the water to help the rinsing process. With clean hands, gently massage the butter and squeeze to remove the buttermilk. Repeat this process twice. There you go. So I put the butter in a bowl, put water in it, and two ice cubes. Not really sure what the ice is for. If you know, put it in the comments below. I'm assuming it helps separate the two, the milk from the butter, and maybe form the butter some. Anyway, now I'm supposed to <laughs> use my hands. I just wash my hands to mix it all up real good. There's my butter. I rinsed it twice in here, and then I took it out and let it dry on this paper towel. So, I need to put it in something, some little bowl or something, but let's taste it. Mmm, it's creamy.